So uh, we're now going to go straight into a video. And I'm hoping that Murray has got this lined up. Um, we're going to listen to a conversation between Safecast's Asby Brown and Genevieve uh, Beaumont, who was previously at the Institute for Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety, the IRSN in uh, France. Genevieve, uh, Genevieve spent the latter part of her career working on the societal aspects of nuclear incidents. And she joins Asby to talk about how she got involved in citizen radiation monitoring with Safecast relatively early on and really was quite a, an encouraging force um, in her part of the world trying to get universities and various organizations um, engaged in citizen science and uh, looking at how they could adopt similar things where they are. So I'm hoping at this point uh, we will be moving on. Fantastic, I can see it happening. I'm going to put myself on mute. So hello, uh, we're talking with Genevieve Beaumont, recently retired from IRSN, uh, the French National uh, Nuclear Radiation Laboratory, uh, and she's based in Paris, and she's been a very good colleague and supporter of SafeCast since we first met in 2014. Hello, Genevieve, how are you? Hello, fine. Uh, are you staying home a lot now because of COVID? Yes. No exhibition, no museum. It's a bit sad. <laughs> no museum. Yeah, no workshops, nothing. Mm, I, uh, I continue to work with some student, engineer student, and uh, uh, next month I have to speak about uh, nuclear accident, and, and I will speak about SafeCast. Oh, great. And this is all online? Uh, I don't think so. It's uh, in the classroom and... Uh, okay. Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, I'm thinking back, uh, and I want to say, Genevieve, that you were one of the first, I want to say, strong international professional supporters of SafeCast. And as you remember, we met at the um, uh, meeting, the expert meeting at the IAEA in February 2014. And, yes. Uh, I remember your presentation. I think you were talking about uh, psychosocial effects or social consequences uh, for people after Chernobyl in, in Scandinavia. Uh, and it was very passionate. And after my presentation, you came to me and said, can you give me your bigaigi? I will buy your bigaigi. Yes, <laughs> you were exactly. so enthusiastic about it. So tell me, why, why were you interested in the bigaigi? Because you know, I was uh, uh, for my uh, for IRSN. I support some uh, uh, um, ethos activities in Belarus, and I see what are the problem in Belarus when you don't know how much uh, radioactivity is, uh, is on the ground and uh, in the food and so on. And uh, uh, it was not easy to have uh, some uh, small sensor to measure it. And uh, when I hear you, I was absolutely immediately convinced that this tool could be very interesting in case of uh, post-accident situation. Great. So, uh, and uh, I continue to have uh, some uh, relationship with uh, Freund in Belarus, uh, meet, meet in, this, in this period. And uh, one of one of these uh, girls measure Belarus uh, in Belarus the radioactivity in this village in, in her village, and uh, she was convinced that uh, uh, it's, it's the radioactivity reduces a lot. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I, I was completely convinced, and also because I have some uh, educational project about uh, what is a uh, nuclear risk and what are uh, accident, uh, w what happened after accident uh, in a societal point of view. Uh, I have the feeling that people have very few information, even in France, where we have a lot of uh, nuclear reactors. We have uh, 58 nuclear reactors. So the risk to be in the same situation as in Japan is not zero, perhaps it's very few, but yeah. it's not zero. So for me, it was very important to give education to people 
and uh, to, to, to see how much they know radioactivity and uh, the measurement, what is Becquerel, what is Siever, uh, first thing. And uh, after to understand what are the process in, uh, between uh, the contamination coming from the earth, then on the ground and then in food and then and so on, and then in, in the people. And so I prepare a lot of uh, educational support to uh, to and to inform people to discuss with them to educate them and uh, uh, self cast is very important because people can immediately measure in their uh, uh, in their area what are the natural risk with uh, uh, with uh, radioactivity. And uh, they discover that the sensor never say zero. <laughs> right. You always never find something. <laughs> and after you have to compare to have three third and so on. And uh, it's very, people understand very quickly if they can measure by themselves. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting because I, actually two, two things that you sort of introduced or you started that were really interesting for us at SafeCast. One was your educational projects and another was uh, getting us involved with the open radiation project at IRS. And so for the radiation education, um, what was really impressive, you started a project with a environmental NPO, IFORME, mm -hmm. and you ended up buying, I think, 40 big Igees and yes. giving them to high schools in France. Yes, uh, yes. And many schools, and they were building them, and the students were using them. And I remember uh, the presentation from students uh, from Vichy, from Auvergne. Yes, yes. Uh, and Yael, who ultimately, he was a student, a high school student, and he went to university, and he became our intern. So that was a yes. fascinating project. Um, yes, yes. So t tell me about how was that? How did the teachers and the other students, how did they respond to that? Uh, 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 first, we, we meet this teacher, Mr. Uh, Valérie Bordois. Yeah. I, I congratulate him for what he do. Yeah. Uh, was interested about radon in house because uh, in, in the area of Vichy, it's a very radioactive area. It's As natural the, radiation, right? It's a, it's kind of a yes, high natural, natural radiation, background radiation yes. area in Vichy, uh, in the mountains, uh, in the center of France. Uh, yeah. And you can find radon in, in houses, yes. and sometimes the retta is very high. Mm. So it was the first approach uh, in Vichy is to measure radon. And after I suggest to use uh, CEFCAS in order to uh, make some measurement around Vichy, and perhaps we can share the measurement, the, 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 the paper uh, they, they wrote, uh, because in, in this period in uh, high school, they were obliged to make a personal uh, study about mm -hmm. what they want. Mm -hmm. And the three uh, boys uh, choose to use a safe cast to build mm -hmm. it and to measure. Mm -hmm. And they do very interesting uh, thing because they uh, we know very well where are uranium uh, granite with a yes. lot of uranium in this yeah. area. So the geological compare... maps are very detailed for that area. The geology yes. and yeah, the, the substrate. So yeah. I, 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 perhaps you can share this uh, paper. I think we should share it. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. you have the address in the uh, Yeah, it's a internet. very interesting paper that describes comparing. What the students did was they used the Bigaigi and traveled and measured and measured radiation, and they overlaid that map with the geology map uh, yes. of the substrate to where the yes. radioactive granite was, and it matched very closely. And yes. that was really yes. great to see. And the students did that themselves, high school students. Yes. That was great. Yeah. And they show also that when they, they arrive in a village, even it was not in a very granitic zone, the level was quite, was more uh, important that the map could say, the mm -hmm. geologic maps could say, mm -hmm. because uh, the houses were built in granite. Yes, that's true. So the homes, the building material is also granite. 
So that's yes. a good point. They discovered that on their own. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's really great. And like I said, we stayed in touch with Yael and he spent six months or so in Japan on a wonderful internship and spent time in, in, in Fukushima. And um, I was happy to meet with him with you in Paris, I guess, two years ago already. It was great to see that. So yes. also, so then there was IRSN's own project for open radiation and developing, uh, IRSN was developing their own low cost radiation sensor and developing yes. an online uh, data map. And, yes. and you con uh, introduced us. So do you want to talk about that? How did that go? How, how I mean, I got the sense you were a bit uh, frustrated by that. Uh, immediately after Fukushima accident, I wrote an, as a, an expert, senior expert about uh, societal aspect. Mm -hmm. I wrote a paper to our uh, director mm -hmm. saying, uh, now citizens in Japan measure by themselves radioactivity and make mm -hmm. map, mm -hmm. so we can ignore it. Mm -hmm. We can counsel people to uh, about the choice of the sensors. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can uh, f uh, help to help them to make map, or we can collect all the measurement and uh, suggest them, them to on, on a map and discuss it. Right. And the director immediately say it's a good way. Mm -hmm. We have to do the best. And uh, um, uh, some colleagues in IRSN uh, was also interested by that. And, but uh, they don't want to do the same map as you. Right. As they cast, want to they make want to do a, an own interactive map, map Maybe their only, own map. Only France, right? Only France. No, no, it's international. But oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. more or less, you have very few, few data uh, outside of France. Mm -hmm. And they want to collect all kind of measurement. Uh, coming from all the tools that you can find in the, in the shops and uh, in the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, let people to discuss themselves how robust and how reliable right. are this right. data. Right. So the map need to, to permit exchange and uh, to collect data and so on. But unfortunately, the, I, 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 I am not completely convinced with this tool because you have only 400 data, the mm -hmm. last one, mm -hmm. which appears, which appear on, on the map. Yes. So it's very few. It look, yes. If you look now, you have very few data. Mm. So it didn't and really it's not get the momentum. Same. It didn't really get the public interest, right? Uh, and, and that was interesting because you have great experts and, um, it was a bit complicated with the university and IRSN uh, experts, et cetera, maybe a bit complicated. So uh, Safecast, you know, it's a very small team. And at the time we could just do things very, very quickly. So that was interesting to watch the difference between when, uh, and actually you had some funding, you had a budget, but uh, yes, it took a long yes, time. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, it's interesting though, um, because for us, that was one of the strongest official recognitions of the value of citizen science and crowdsourcing for radiation. Uh, I think IRSN was the first agency to start that. And later, of course, Suro, our colleagues, yes. Jan Hellebrandt and others uh, began in, in, in their own projects. So this was important to have that kind of support. Yes, um, immediately we compare the, the data coming from uh, the SafeCast to the mm -hmm. uh, more uh, professional sensors and yeah. uh, the result was uh, quite good. So yeah. this was uh, very important for IRS and to yeah. test yeah. the robustness of this sensor. Yeah. And, and, and uh, hmm. of course, we, uh, uh, I built the first one for IRSN and after <laughs> we continue. And uh, now a lot of colleagues uh, in, in IRSN have these sensors and can use it. Some data on SAFCAS mm -hmm. come from some colleagues. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, 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 it was a great interest about that. Perhaps because also we participate in a Belarus uh, mm -hmm. ethos mm -hmm. activities and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. but now I have to say that. Uh, uh, it's very dependent of the director. Yes. And I have 
to say that now the, the interest for, about educational project, for example, is very reduced. Is it? Yes. Hmm. Uh, the, the person in the communication who's, who was very, uh, who's, who support me and support you, of course, uh, is no more the director of communication. It's uh -huh. another person and it's not at all the same. So it depends so much on some individuals, some yes, person within these agencies uh, to be yes. interested. And you were yes. the key person at IRSN. And, and as you know, we have colleagues in other agencies who we're talking with uh, today as well. And, and we see that. It's very interesting. So if, if someone in the agency conv convinces, makes a persuasion to other people that this is worthwhile, mm -hmm. then they can be open to it. So I... Do you, yes. think, do, you, do you think now, uh, are you optimistic about the future of accepting citizen science data, let's say for a post-emergency situation or educational situation uh, for radiation now? Are you optimistic? Uh, I, I am not optimi optimistic about edu educational projects, you know, because oh. uh, I, 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 I do a review about uh, what was uh, teach in the mm -hmm. high school in different oh. country in, uh, in Europe uh, about radioactivity, about nuclear risk and so on. And I discover that in France, the program is very, very small. Even if we have uh, 58 reactors <laughs> and uh, the, 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 some, some books, for example, in Belgium, in the uh, Flemish Belgium book was very great. Mm -hmm. Polish was very great Good. in Polish, mm -hmm. but uh, in France, it's a, it's a pity. Really, really. So it's need a, a, a lot to, 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 to have a better education program, but I am not, yeah. but I don't think that uh, we take this way. Okay. The um, second thing I hmm. think, I think that IRSN will be, interested every time about this kind of uh, uh, practice, practice mm -hmm. of measurement, radioactivity measurement and uh, contact with uh, communities and mm -hmm. so on. But few people are involved in such uh, project. Right. And I have to say that we, uh, for me, what is important is to be very clear about logistic aspect what the will we do? Logistic aspect. Logistic. Oh, logistic aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we will do practically uh, if an accident occurs tomorrow near mm -hmm. a French plant? Yes. What will we? Be, what we will do? What Safcats can do? Mm -hmm. to, for example, I, I have not a list of people in France who have Safcast. I don't right. have it. Right. It should be nice, perhaps, if you have all the address of these people. Yes, in France, for example, and in other countries having yeah. some uh, nuclear reactor, yeah. to have a list of these people ready mm -hmm. in order of the, the day of the accident to call them, say them, uh, are, are you ready to do yeah. something in this area? Yeah. Uh, I am ready to go and uh, have a small house in the area to sustain people. Right. Okay, and be, uh, also mm -hmm. to have, uh, perhaps you could have uh, the address of people ready to send immediately mm -hmm. the safe cast to somebody mm -hmm. designed, be, uh, named before, yeah. to send them the, this uh, safe cast in mm -hmm. order to immediately train people interested by that make map, very precise map about how contaminated is the area. Mm -hmm. And in France also, because the problem is uh, uh, very, if you don't do that very quickly, very bad uh, and uh, uh, wrong images yes, about kind of, uh, what, misinformation how much happens. is uh, the area. Uh, will come out. So if we can get yes. out very quickly with the right, with good data. That'll, that'll, yes. That should help, right? And we know from our experience at Fukushima that governments will not have enough manpower to do that. Uh, and they'll have yes. to focus on the most 
at risk, the most highly radioactive areas, but people will be very concerned, uh, even at a great distance from any accident. So I agree. And, and we always hope that we would have a list of volunteers or be able to engage our volunteer community if there is another accident. And of course, the key word there is the volunteers and how can we build a volunteer network. But mainly because of your efforts, there's maybe 50, at least 50 B Geiges, safe cast B Geiges in France. That's a lot. That can do a lot of coverage. So yes, but yeah. I am not sure that it should be the that we could have this very quickly. Mm. And uh, uh, you have uh, not only the need of safe cast around the site, mm. but also other way. For example, uh, it was the same in uh, in Rouen in France. Mm -hmm. We have a big chemical accident yeah. with the loss of dust of chemical product. Mm -hmm. Not only around Rouen, but uh, 200, kilo, 200 kilometers uh, mm -hmm. to the north, mm -hmm. in north of France, in mm -hmm. Ardennes and so on. Mm -hmm. the, you, you, you have uh, some uh, 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 area contaminated mm -hmm. with this dust mm -hmm. because it rains, mm -hmm. and also perhaps in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So the, the process is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, if it if you have some wind to sh to stay to 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 share <laughs> this uh, dust everywhere, and then if uh, the it's rain, yeah. you have a contaminated area far. Yes. So you need not only safe cast around the site, right. but also perhaps one on two by department in order to yes. uh, say it's safe. Yeah. Yeah, or, or if it's not safe. And of course, even yes. other countries will want to know. Well, you know, we're almost out of time. So um, I guess I just want to say again, you know, thank you so much for supporting uh, SafeCast and being a good friend and welcoming me to your home and introducing me to so many colleagues at IRSN and other agencies. Uh, it's been really and in good. Belgium too. And, uh... in Belgium and everywhere else. Uh, so that's <laughs> been a really good thing. So I hope we meet up again soon. Um, any last word um, for SafeCast after 10 years? Oh, continue. <laughs> continue. Okay, great. So we'll continue. So take yes. care and my best to everyone. And uh, thank you very much. And we'll talk again soon. Bye. Thank you.